In West Texas, there's not much to see in a vast stretch of emptiness. That is, until the sun calls it a day. And then, up there, is a night sky bursting with stars, a jam-packed canopy of constellations. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. On most weekends, Ron DiIulio sings about the night sky at a Dallas nightclub. And he doesn't just croon about the moon. He makes his living looking up at the moon and stars, teaching astronomy and spreading the word about every stargazer's worst enemy, bright lights. So you actually call it light pollution. We call it light pollution just like sound pollution. Delio brings his students from the University of North Texas to this particular part of the state where the lights are so few, the stars are so many, captured by his time-lapse photography. I have yet to see a person come out in the night sky, look up at a sky that, that is dark, mm -hmm. or look through a telescope and not go, wow. Mm -hmm. That's never happened. They so, always do that. They always do that. In a world where people seem to spend most of their time looking down, there isn't much incentive to look up. City lights block out the night sky. But on this NASA map, there is also an earthbound version of a black hole right down there in West Texas. And it's not by accident, but thanks to men like Bill Wren, a veteran astronomer at McDonnell Observatory, the largest and one of the busiest optical telescopes in North America. It sits atop a West Texas mountain. Now, I know you have a number of nicknames, but my favorite is the Angel of Darkness. What, yes. what does that mean? Uh, well, that's just, uh, I'm the, the light police. Saving the darkness of the night sky is his mission. Using grant money, he offers free light fixtures that aim light down and away from the night sky. Wren and others also helped change building codes to make down lights mandatory in seven counties covering 28,000 square miles. To convince the dubious, Bill offers this example. Van Gogh's Starry Night painted in 1889. When Wren imagines the painting with today's light polluted skies, it might look more like this. We'd be without Starry Night because Van Gogh would have been without sure. stars. I mean, how many Van Goghs are alive today, you know, that, uh, that won't have that inspiration? There may not be many Van Goghs among the hundreds who come from across America okay. for overnight star parties at the observatory. But still, they are romantics and stargazers all in one, like Adam Antonis. The skies here are really, they're really just beautiful. The darker, the more you can see. And it turns out, darkness is something you can sell. These homes are being built specifically for people who want to live under the dark sky. To help preserve their heavenly view, the development bans street lights and outdoor lights. We come here as astronomers, amateur astronomers, to enjoy the skies without interference from light pollution. Bob Newman came here for a night sky that's still in trances. How many of us are lucky enough to say this? You can read by the light of Venus. You certainly can read by the light of the full moon. The Milky Way comes up and it looks like clouds in the sky. You take a look at the moon like this and you, you can say, all right, now look at how beautiful that moon looks. Look how large it is. And, says astronomer Ron Diulio, the moon is just the beginning of exploration. He believes there is still plenty to learn about the universe from gazing at a truly dark night sky. There are a lot of things out there that we don't know about, and that's what's exciting. Maybe we can still discover. We can still be those explorers, and, and that's not over, and that our children and all our descendants will have that opportunity to discover. That's what we need to have. And if you can keep the light pollution away, they could actually stand here and do and some do of it. that. That's right. And that's what we hope to do here. Here, one of the last places where modern man can look up and see what our ancient ancestors saw. Trembling, delighting, or just basking in nature's nightlight.